size of biochar this is a very fundamental question many people ask because uh, when we produce biochar from different uh, biomass feed stocks when it is processed or at the end when the biochar is being collected we get uh, different sizes and shapes so when we apply especially say for soil what should be the size of the biochar traditionally the amount of biochar added to the soils has been incremental with small amounts of biochar from stores and other sources finding their way into the soil different grade sizes of biochar are found in the soil serving different purposes in the field the benefits of biochar to soil depend on various aspects like physical chemical biological and electromagnetic environments also over a period of time larger chunks have broken down into smaller pieces this is because of the agricultural activities such as plowing and uh, also due to various other reasons the finer the biochar the further it can be spread over a larger area for immediate results in any case over a period of time the biochar located up to a depth of 8 to 12 inches breaks during land tillage and other farm activities using chunks of biochar as the following advantage so when uh, it comes to the crops such as paddy or some vegetables which are grown as a bed there we need the spread application there we need finer biochar otherwise when we apply for line or point application then it can be a mixture of both chunks like granular of sand grade and even some powdery form here when we have the chunks of biochar the roots prosper around chunks as in beautifully the root hair entangling around these chunks and fungus also residing on these chunks and always these chunks are having more moisture because soil moisture evaporates from a fine speck of biochar much easily then from a larger piece soil microbes and soil fungi can find a convenient habitat within a chunk of biochar whole communities of these microorganisms can live within a single chunk heavy pieces are less likely to get carried away from the field by wind or water this is another advantage where uh, let us say we have high speed winds in some areas and uh, plowed and left the field fallow uh, we have a danger that even the biochar particles carried into atmosphere might go as far as arctic or antarctica areas and these specks of biochar if they fall on this um, white ice the albedo will come down then melting of ice will be accelerated so these are very far off impacts but still uh, they are considerable in a way much more air circulation is possible around a chunk of biochar because biochar is porous and it has so many chambers so the water or moisture the air circulation and even for microbes to shift places within this uh, biochar happens very conveniently 
using pieces saves the additional energy required to powder them but usually this is not a big deal because uh, biochar can be crumpled very easily much air circulation is possible around a chunk of biochar using pieces saves the additional energy required to powder them but otherwise uh, biochar is not a hard material it is very uh, easy material to be crushed the, even by the farm vehicles such as tractor one could easily crush by moving two three times to get a desired size of sand grain larger pieces have greater insulation capacity to relay to regulate temperature of soil this is very important when we are applying biochar as mulch to the plants so this uh, dimension can be explored there 